Hi everybody, my name is Ron Cantor and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. Today we're going to start a brand new series called Nine Biblical Reasons Why Christians Should Support Israel. A few years back I was doing an interview, I had just written a book, and the interviewer was really trying to help me, trying to set me up. And he asked me, Ron, why should Christians bless Israel? And I don't know why, I've studied this stuff a long time, but I, I kind of went blank. And I, I said something, I made something up, I can't remember. But when I got home, I thought, I prayed, I got into the Word of God, and I came up with nine reasons. And we want to start that today with reason number one, which is kind of a heavy one, which is this. When Christians forget Israel, it's not long before Jews start dying. Amazingly, the church has been the number one persecutor against the Jewish people over the last 2,000 years. In fact, Adolf Hitler, when he started the final solution, he actually said that he was only finishing what the church started. There was the Crusades when so-called Christians came into this city, Jerusalem, and they killed nearly 1,000 Jews. And on the way here, they killed thousands upon thousands of Jews in the most horrible ways. And then there were the Inquisitions, where Jews in Spain were told, either convert to Catholicism or get out. You know what they called these Jews who actually became what they called new Christians? They called them maranos, or pigs. They called Jews who believed in Jesus, pigs. Now, many of these Jews weren't really becoming believers. They were doing what they needed to do to survive. And so the church would send out spies to make sure that none of these Muranos were returning to Judaism. If you were caught doing anything Jewish, lighting the Sabbath candles, praying the Sabbath prayers, refusing to eat pork, anything Jewish, even, even hanging out with other Jewish people, you would be arrested and publicly humiliated and thousands of Jews were killed for the sin of going back to Judaism. Many of them burned alive. And we can go all the way back to the fourth century when a preacher, they called him the golden mouth. That's how good of a preacher he was. His name was John Chrysostom. And he said in a sermon series called Against the Jews, he actually had a series of sermons called Against the Jews. He said it is every Christian's duty to hate the Jews. Not just that you can hate the Jews, and God understands it, but no, you must hate the Jews. Augustine, maybe the greatest theologian, or at least we think of him that way, of the early church fathers, he said that the only reason that the Jews are alive, they deserve death, but God left them on earth as a witness of the church's triumph over the synagogue. See, now you can see that when the church stops loving Israel, it's not long before Jewish people begin to die. Stay tuned for the final eight reasons. You can go to God.tv to watch every episode. Or to view these programs again, go to God.tv forward slash Zion.